This is the latest build project. It's a trailer for my Hudson HFE 21 bandsaw that I just finished up. It um, was made using a Harbor Freight trailer as the basis for the axles and the lights and the hitch. And it also has a built-in manual log loader that uses a farm jack that mounts in place for transport. Uh, it has has four outriggers that go down to support it. And there are a couple of stops with wheels to help keep the log from falling off when you roll them. Here we go. To set up the mill, the first thing you do is you have to flip down all the jacks. They lock in place. And what I usually do is put a piece of wood under there just to hold it. And then you just use a socket to jack it off the ground. And we just repeat this procedure for each of the four jacks until we finally level it up. Alright, when leveling, there is actually a little le bubble level I place on the front tongue to help you get everything leveled fairly good. And I like to keep it going downhill to the back a little bit. Next we take and we drop the loading arm. Just pull on the lever there. Down. And then this part swings it back down out of the way. Uh, next, we just remove this screw so we can get the jack out to use that for the loader. Pull that in, and it snaps right out of its bracket. For the loader to operate, first you roll a log onto the loader platform there. Then you just mount this form jack on there and then you're easily able to jack up up to about a 2,000 pound log to load on the trailer easily. As you can see, the loader arm jacks up so it's just level or a little bit above the trailer for easy loading of a log. On the other side are some stops to allow you to roll a log and keep it from falling off the trailer. But when you're using the mill, you have to remove the pin and just pick them out of place. This is the tow board assembly that I built to help raise the end of cockeyed and tapered logs. And basically all you do is you pick it up and you set it between the frame rails, anywhere along the frame. Now it has a hydraulic jack and it, which allows you to pick up up to two tons and just jack it very easily up to get the high set and then there are actually screws here that you turn to stabilize the log on both sides there's some long jack screws now when you're done all you have to do is just twist the knob and it retracts right back to the lower position The mill uses the standard dogs that come with the HFE 21 and they're they can be located every two feet along the rail. Both the front and rear are the same dogs. Now there's also another 
stabilizer bracket in here that can be picked out and moved to any place along the mill to help stabilize a log that's a little bit out of shape when you're making the first cut. And the trailer also has working lights on it so it's street legal. There's a uh, removable tongue on the trailer that actually can be unbolted with a couple of bolts and removed for stationary operation. The trailer also has a bracket built onto it for mounting a spare tire. Okay, the mill is just a standard Hudson HFE 21 that put a little bit of green paint on the covers just to make it match the trailer. Um, it has a 7 horsepower Subaru motor and a water tank for lubricating the blade. Now in the meantime, I have also added a digital readout, which I'm hoping will be durable enough for this application. But the slide was just mounted on the back of the scale. trailer has a unique feature in it that locks the sawmill in place between cuts and for transport. Now you just push down on this spring-loaded lever and the mill will roll right down the tracks and do the cut. Now when the mill comes back it overrides the cam and it goes up and locks in place so that it stays there and this actually helps you so you can set the back end of the trailer a little bit lower and still lock the mill in place while you're making adjustments and that helps with the gravity helps pull the mill through the wood so to make a cut you just have to get the log on set the height of the blade release the blade and then you just walk the mill down the track to the other end. With this setup, I am able to cut it out a 12 foot 6 log. So there you have it. This is my latest build. It's a trailer for my HFE 21 sawmill to make it a lot more usable to me. The height is set just right so there is very little bending and the loader, loader easily allows me to pick up a 1,500, 2,000 pound log with no problem. Sure makes sawing a lot more fun. Thanks for watching. I am waiting for some new blades to come in and next week I should be posting a...